PC printer issues? Trust me, you are not the only one. We've all had our moments we weren't proud of, okay? <laughs> what about a mouse that gets all wonky or a webcam that distorts? Peripherals are great when they work and incredibly frustrating when they don't. Today, I'll help you figure out how to fix them. This is DIY in 5. Hey everyone, I'm Trisha Hirschberger and you are watching DIY in 5. The show where we take common tech issues and give you the know-how to fix them yourself. All in a video that's roughly five minutes or less. Lately, we've been going through various common PC issues and discussing troubleshooting techniques. And today, we're going to focus on peripheral problems. Computer peripherals are devices that connect to your computer and enhance its functionality, such as keyboards, mice, printers, scanners, speakers, and webcams. But when they stop working as intended, it can be super frustrating. See my Rage Room example from before. As with any problem, the first step is gathering clues as to what is going wrong. Is the device not detected by your computer? Or detected, but not responding? Or just behaving erratically? Does the problem occur with one specific device, one specific port, or multiple devices and ports? Does the device work if you start your operating system in safe mode? First thing to check is that all the drivers are up to date. Drivers are software programs that enable your computer and your peripheral devices to communicate. Sometimes outdated, corrupted, or incompatible drivers can cause peripheral problems. To update your drivers, you can use the device manager in Windows or the system preferences in Mac OS. And on the other side of that coin, if you recently updated a driver or firmware for your peripheral, try rolling it back. There's a possibility that the update is conflicting with something you already have. Same goes for peripheral specific software. In these cases, it's usually best to remove the peripheral from the list of devices and any affiliated software, reboot, and add everything back in like a new device setup. If it's only one peripheral that's giving you a headache and it connects via USB, try plugging it into a different port or a different computer altogether. If the peripheral works somewhere else, it could be due to conflicting USB standards. Sometimes a device will only work on newer USB standards, and it may just be a matter of finding the correct port on your PC. For example, USB 3.1 versus 2.0. If the problem seems to be more with the USB port than the peripheral, cleaning it using tweezers, a toothpick, or compressed air could be the right solution, and see if that helps. If not, it's possible the port could be faulty, but let's try other solutions first. If the device uses a wireless connection, such as Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, make sure that the device is paired and synced with your computer, and that the battery level is good to go. If the device has a reset button, you can try resetting the connection that way, or you can unplug the wireless USB receiver for a count of 10 Mississippi and reconnect. Sometimes resetting the connection will force your device to pick a new frequency and eliminate interference issues. If none of the steps we discussed today solve your peripheral problem, try cleaning the peripheral itself if you can. Keyboards and mice can get pretty gunked up with daily use and it may be that the sensors are blocked. The last resort is to replace the hardware. If you found any fixes not mentioned in today's video, feel free to shout them out in the comments. Thanks for watching DIY in 5 everyone, and I'll see you next time.